What's up everyone, it's Austin Derry here. So I wanna tell you guys a story about one of the meanest fighting bluefin tuna I've speared in my entire life. The story's pretty ridiculous and this fish absolutely destroyed me. I ended up shooting this thing long after the sun had gone down and ended up spending about an hour in the water in pitch blackness trying to get this thing up. So here's the setting. We're over 50 miles offshore. The sun had set about a little after eight and it's probably about 8.30 at this point. There's foamers everywhere. I'm out diving with clients. They had speared some tuna, so it's finally my turn. I didn't really want to get in the water, but when there's foamers absolutely everywhere, you kind of have no choice. So I hop in, my client dives down. I hear a gun go off. I know they missed, so I drop down and I can't see anything. So I descend. Can't tell how deep I am. I think I'm somewhere about 50 feet, and all of a sudden I can sort of make out little silhouettes coming by. So I line up, pick the closest fish, pull the trigger, and I can tell I got a good shot. I can't see the surface, it's that dark. So I go up, I see my float tombstone, I know it's gonna be a good, good battle here. It didn't tear off during that initial run. So, this is where it gets a little bit fun. So it's dark, and it's getting darker by the minute. I'm not gonna lie, it was really freaking scary down there. Momentarily, I'm getting my knife back. Good current, Lou, thank you. So I'm trying to fight this fish in as quick as I can. I just want to get this thing on the boat and just get out of there. Sort of start making some decent headway. The fish is kind of coming in relatively fast. I know the shot's holding at this point. That's a good sign. I was fairly certain these fish were over 100 pounds, but I wasn't exactly sure. Sometimes when you shoot these 100 pounders, they like to just totally just take that float down really, really far. I knew it was bigger than 50 and smaller than 200. It was a solid fish. The fish is within range. I get past a kill gun, go down there, try to stone it. I can't see anything. End up going down can't really make out anything. Occasionally the fish will turn on its side and I'll see a little flash, so that was really my only form of reference I had down there. End up getting a second shot on the fish and swim into the surface. So I'm pulling it up, pulling it up. Initially I'm making really good progress here. I think this is gonna be an easy fight. Boy, was I wrong on that one. So I get the fish to the swivel, comes up. It's an angry fish. He's angry. As soon as I get the fish a little bit close, it decides it wants to make another run and rips that gun straight down to my hands. I thought I was gonna lose that gun. It's getting darker and darker by the minute. I don't want to be out here. So I get the fish within range and I can see that both of my shots are mid-body after the peck fin, which means I can't turn the fish's head and actually direct it up. It's just fighting com with that complete pressure, just going against me, and I can't get this thing close enough. Start making decent headway, wrapping my hand around, pulling the bungee up through the cliff. This fish is sort of coming back up now at this point. I feel a little more secure at this point. It's chaotic. I got lines going everywhere. I'm trying to keep them off of me, trying to be safe. I got a newer diver in the water watching my back, and this fish is just all over the place. The problem is, both 
the shots are in the hind quarter, so I can't turn its head. Just keeps going down. I kind of need a third gun, baby. As you can see, it is dark down there. The sun had set, and I cannot see much of anything that's going on. I'm in the water with this fish and it doesn't want to come up. It is not having any of this. It's not fun being in the water when it's pitch black outside. I'm 50, 60 miles offshore. This is not where I want to be fighting a bloody struggling fish in the middle of nowhere. So here's where things got a little sketchy. Normally, you're, so I'm fighting the fish, got my float, pulling it in, clipping it off, pulling it in, clipping it off. Problem is, my tuna clip is a little bit too loose. So every time that fish stretches out, this tuna clip is just getting ripped right back, pulling the float up to the surface. At that point, I can't make any headway. Every time I dived down to try to grab the fish, it felt my presence and would just descend deeper and deeper. So what happened was, the tuna clip had become a little bit busted from fighting so many fish. And not like that. I right, just made it another run. Okay, thank you. I gotta stone it in the head. It's pitch black, it's getting darker by the minute, and here I am with the hot fish, blood everywhere. I just wanna get this thing in the boat. I can't see anything, I'm not gonna lie. It was scary. So I'm trying as hard as I can. Every time I'm pulling up, I'm just trying to get this fish up, and then sure enough, I get it right about 30, 40 feet down where I can kinda of see the swivel. I know it's close enough for a, hopefully a third shot. Try to stone this thing and it would go on another run and just rip itself back and I'd be right where I started at the end of my freaking bungee and have to start the whole process over again. This went on for about 30-40 minutes and it, let me tell you, it was an absolute nightmare. I can't turn the fish's head and I didn't have a working tuna clip on another float so at this point I'm just kind of screwed. So you're probably thinking, what about sharks? Well, to be honest, we don't have that many sharks but I guarantee, I was thinking in my head, if there's ever a time I'm gonna have an issue, it's gonna be at night, obviously. The main thing I was hoping was there's a struggling bloody fish down there. If there are any sharks in the area, hopefully they're gonna go for the fish instead of me. In this raw darkness, there's so much pressure to just get this thing on the boat. I don't wanna be messing around in the water any longer than I have to be. So fast forward 30 minutes, me just getting my ass handed to me this whole time, finally get the fish within range, dive down with a third gun to try to stone this thing finally, been in the water close to an hour at this point. It's after nine o'clock at night. I can't even see this fish to put a shot into it unless it just happens to catch a glimmer of whatever ambient light there was. Finally go down. Can't really see where I'm shooting and just shoot for center mass and Thankfully, I got a shot somewhere in the head and slowly got this fish up and oh, what an absolute wild, mean, crazy experience of this fish. Remember, these cameras pick up a lot more light than your eyes can see. So even though it looks black on here, it was even darker in person. But I finally got the thing close enough and actually touched the fish. Oh, it was like the biggest weight off my shoulders. Right. I've shot hundreds of bluefin tuna in the last oh, couple God. of years, and there's not a single one that I've been stuck in the water past dark like this. This is the meanest tuna I've shot in my entire life by far. Oh my God. The, one? the meanest tuna. It's not little. It's low past sundown. This is the meanest tuna I've ever shot. Nothing ever compared. Oh my God. Yeah.
I can see through. I can see through the blood. Oh, I saw the straps. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Thanks for the help. So I get this fish back on the boat finally after all this. Solid fish. I'm stoked. The fish ended up going over 130 pounds, or roughly 60 kilos. It was an absolute solid fish, but let me tell you, I never want to do this again. And from that time on, I always have fresh tuna clips. All right. How's my hair? <laughs> oh my God, this was the meanest tuna I've ever shot in my entire life. What a crazy mean fish this was. I was so freaking happy with the time that I got this thing in my hands. If I would have lost that battle after all of that, ugh. Talk about a heartbreak. The sun had already gone down when we shot this thing, and it fought well into the night. I had to put three shots in it, and finally got it. It's not the biggest tune I've ever shot, but it is the meanest by far. Right blue utterly, getting it done again. Very happy. This thing kicked my ass, and then some. But nice Southern California bluefin tuna. Thanks. So, hope you guys enjoyed the story. Um, don't ever want to produce another video like this in my life, but I'm glad that it all worked out in the end. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to subscribe for more fish tales.